Hey dear, welcome back to the world of cross-dressing stories. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Now, let's dive into the story. Hello everyone, my name is Jamie and today I'm going to share a story that's not just close to my heart. It is my heart. This journey of mine, filled with ups and downs, revolves around my experiences with cross-dressing, a part of my life that has deeply influenced who I am today. It all began back in high school, a time when everyone is struggling to find themselves, trying on identities like new clothes, but my clothing choices were a bit different from most of my peers. I remember the day of our school's big event clearly. It was supposed to be a moment of fun and celebration. Instead, for me, it turned into one of the most defining and painful moments of my life. I had decided to wear a dress that day, one that I had secretly bought myself, saving up for my part-time job. It was beautiful, flowing, and it made me feel like myself, more than I had ever felt in any pair of jeans or t-shirts. But the moment I stepped into the venue, I could feel the weight of hundreds of eyes on me, their stares laden with judgment and something akin to disgust. Whispers filled the room, loud enough for me to catch phrases like weirdo and should be ashamed. I tried to hold my head high, but the laughter and crude jokes that followed were too much. I spent the rest of the event hidden away in a corner, my eyes stinging with tears, feeling utterly alone. That day, I vowed never to let myself be a victim of ridicule again. Not because I would stop cross-dressing. No, I would never give up that part of myself. But because I would grow strong, resilient. I would learn to stand up for myself and for others who felt the same isolation. Starting this channel was part of fulfilling that vow. Here, I share not just my love for cross-dressing, but also how to face the world with confidence. It's about turning the negativity into a stepping stone for growth and self-acceptance. My aim is to build a community where we can all find support and love, no matter what we choose to wear. Thank you for tuning in. Today isn't just about my story, it's about all of ours. Let's take this journey together, fostering self-love and acceptance in a world that often fears what it does not understand. In today's video, we're going to delve a bit deeper, beyond the surface of mockery and ridicule, to understand the roots of negativity towards cross-dressing. It's a journey that isn't just about confronting harsh words, but understanding where they stem from. You see, the fear and hostility that many of us encounter have deeper origins than mere dislike or disapproval. It's intertwined with societal norms, the rigid boxes into which we are often placed. From a young age, we're taught what is appropriate for boys and girls, blue and pink dolls and trucks. And when someone steps outside these predefined lines, it unsettles, it disrupts. I remember a time, not long after the high school event, when I decided to wear a skirt to a casual gathering among friends. The air thickened with discomfort the moment I walked in. A close friend pulled me aside and whispered urgently, why must you make things awkward? Can't you just dress normally? It wasn't just an outfit to them, it was a challenge to their understanding of normal. This fear of the unknown, this discomfort, often triggers a defensive reaction. People fear what they do not understand, and their lack of understanding can lead to hostility. It's a protective mechanism, guarding the familiar against the unfamiliar. Moreover, personal insecurities play a massive role. In my journey, I've seen that often those who are the most vocal in their negativity are struggling with their own identity and self-expression. They project their fears and insecurities onto others who dare to live freely. I remember encountering a particularly harsh critic online who would constantly berate my choices. Months later, through a private conversation, they confessed to their own struggles with gender identity, expressing how my openness was a painful reminder of their own hidden truths. Understanding these roots has not been about excusing the behavior, but about fostering empathy within myself. By seeing the fear and insecurity behind the hostility, I've learned to respond not with anger, but with a hope to enlighten, to share, and perhaps to ease the fear. Sharing these stories isn't easy, but it's necessary. It builds a bridge of understanding and empathy, not just for those of us who are different, but for those who haven't yet understood the beauty of diversity. Each story shared is a step toward dismantling these fears, toward a broader acceptance. Let's keep building that bridge together. 
Understanding why people react negatively towards cross-dressing is one thing, but learning how to cope with that negativity is another. Today, I want to share with you the strategies that have not only helped me survive, but thrive in the face of adversity. One of the most transformative practices I adopted was meditation. It might sound simple, but the power of taking a moment to center myself, to breathe deeply and clear my mind cannot be overstated. Every morning, I spend at least 10 minutes in meditation. During these moments, I focus on my breath and visualize myself in a cloak of resilience, each insult or negative comment simply bouncing off me. This visualization technique has not only calmed my anxiety, but has empowered me to face the day with confidence. Positive affirmations have also played a crucial role in my journey. Each day, I affirm my worth and my right to be myself. I stand in front of my mirror and say things like, I am worthy of respect no matter how I dress and my value does not decrease based on someone's inability to see my worth. These affirmations remind me of my strength and the truth about who I am, regardless of others' opinions. But perhaps the most significant source of strength has been the supportive communities I've found both online and in real life. When I started my channel, I was amazed at the flood of support that came from viewers who shared similar experiences and challenges. We formed a network, a family really, that offers support and understanding on tough days. We celebrate each other's victories, no matter how small, and provide a safe space for everyone to express themselves without fear of judgment. Moreover, Attending local support groups and events centered around gender expression has allowed me to connect with others who embrace and encourage cross-dressing. These real-life interactions have been invaluable. They've given me a sense of belonging and a community that understands the highs and lows of my journey. Knowing there are others who share similar experiences and feelings has been a powerful antidote to the isolation and negativity. Through meditation, positive affirmations, and the strength of community, I've built a foundation that allows me to cope with negativity in healthier ways. These coping mechanisms don't remove the challenges, but they do make them more manageable. And they remind me that I am not alone in this journey. They are my armor and my comfort, enabling me to continue sharing my story and encouraging others to find their own paths to acceptance and self-love. As I continued to navigate through the tides of negativity, I realized something profound. The pain that once seemed an insurmountable part of my life could actually be transformed into a source of unparalleled strength. This realization wasn't overnight. It was a journey filled with small significant victories and moments of deep reflection. One of the most transformative periods of my life began when I decided to not just accept my identity quietly, but to celebrate it to claim it loudly in spaces where I once felt silenced. This shift in mindset led me to participate in a public fashion show, a milestone that marked a new era in my journey. The fashion show was themed around diversity and acceptance, celebrating all forms of expression. The decision to join wasn't easy. It required me to step out of my comfort zone, to stand in front of an audience, not as someone hiding their true self, but as Jamie, proud and unapologetic about who I am. As the day approached, nerves and excitement battled within me. I prepared for the show by choosing an outfit that felt like a true expression of my identity, a vibrant flowing dress paired with a bold blazer, merging traditional feminine and masculine styles in a way that felt uniquely me. Standing backstage, waiting for my turn, the familiar flutter of anxiety crept in. But then I remembered my morning meditations, the affirmations, and the countless supportive comments from my community. I breathed deeply, channeling that cloak of resilience I visualized each morning. As I stepped onto the runway, something incredible happened. The audience's applause, their cheers and smiles, it wasn't just acceptance I felt, but celebration. With each step I took, I could feel layers of doubt and fear shedding away. I walked not just for myself, but for everyone who ever felt they had to hide. I walk to show that the things we are often ridiculed for can become our greatest strengths. That night, I not only embraced my cross-dressing identity, but also celebrated it, transforming my pain into a powerful declaration of self-love and acceptance. This moment was a pinnacle of my journey, a clear point where pain transformed into empowerment. It was a demonstration of how far I had come 
from the lonely corner of a high school event to a runway surrounded by applause and admiration. It reinforced a fundamental truth. Embracing who you are and showcasing it with pride can turn the very things that once caused pain into the most empowering aspects of your life. Now I share this story, not just to reflect on my transformation, but to inspire others to take their own steps towards empowerment. Whether it's through fashion, art, or simply the way you choose to present yourself to the world, remember, your journey can inspire a change not just in yourself, but in the hearts of others. Your story can light up dark corners and warm the coldest moments with hope and courage. Building upon the transformative experiences of embracing and celebrating my identity, I've learned crucial lessons about maintaining positivity and resilience in the face of ongoing challenges. Today, I want to share with you some practical tips that can help you navigate the rough waters of negativity, especially in our digital age where online criticism can be relentless. One of the first techniques I've found invaluable is the practice of selective engagement. It's important to remember that not every comment or critic deserves your energy. I used to feel the need to respond to every negative comment or message trying to defend myself or enlighten the critic, but I learned that this often drained my energy and detracted from my own peace of mind. Now, I evaluate whether engaging will be constructive. Can this conversation lead to understanding, or is it just a vent for someone else's prejudices? If it's the latter, I allow myself to step back and not engage. Instead of pouring energy into conflicts, I focus on creating and surrounding myself with positivity. One way I do this is by curating my social media feeds. I follow accounts that inspire and uplift me, and I am quick to block or mute any sources of undue negativity. This simple action helps maintain a healthier, more supportive online environment. Another technique involves grounding myself in the reality of my achievements and worth. Whenever I face a surge of online negativity, I turn to my positivity portfolio, a collection of positive comments, messages of support from my viewers, and personal achievements. Reviewing this portfolio reminds me of the positive impact of my work and the community that values and supports me. I also advocate for setting clear boundaries, both online and offline. This could mean setting specific times to check social media, using features to limit notifications, or having clear guidelines for how to handle invasive or disrespectful interactions. Establishing these boundaries has been essential for preserving my mental health. Engaging constructively with critics is another area where I've grown. When I do choose to engage, I strive to do so with empathy and openness, aiming to educate rather than confront. I've found that sometimes a gentle and informed response can turn a critic into a listener and occasionally even a supporter. Lastly, I always emphasize the importance of community. No one should have to face negativity alone. Building relationships with others who share your experiences or values can provide a tremendous source of strength and comfort. Whether it's through online forums, local groups, or virtual meetups, these connections reinforce that you are part of a larger movement, a community that celebrates diversity and resilience. As we draw today's discussion to a close, I want to leave you with a final thought that has been a cornerstone of my own journey. Your value does not and should not depend on the approval of others. It's a simple truth, but one that takes courage and time to truly embrace. Throughout my life, from the painful experiences in high school to the triumphant walk down the runway, the most enduring lesson I've learned is the importance of self-love. It's not just about accepting yourself, but celebrating every aspect of who you are. Being different isn't just okay. It's a reason to celebrate because it adds to the diversity and beauty of the human experience. I encourage each of you to take a small step towards self-love today. It might be something as simple as wearing an outfit that makes you feel confident, or it might be speaking kindly to yourself when you look in the mirror. Perhaps it's deciding to share your story with someone else or reaching out to a community where you feel you might belong. Whatever that step may be, let it be a movement towards recognizing and affirming your worth. Remember, the journey to self-love isn't always linear. There will be days filled with doubt and setbacks, but each step you take is a piece of the path toward a more fulfilling, authentic life. Embrace your uniqueness, 
and let it shine brightly. The world is richer for having you in it, just as you are. Thank you for joining me today, for listening to my story, and for sharing this space of growth and acceptance. Let's continue to support each other, celebrate our differences, and build a community where everyone can feel valued and loved. Remember, you are enough, just as you are, and you have every reason to celebrate yourself. Let's keep the conversation going, and let's keep taking those small steps towards a world where love and acceptance are the norms, not the exceptions. Until next time, take care, love yourself, and keep shining.